Okay, it should be recorded now. Hi everyone, today is February 19th. So we have a regular Google Summer of Code uh, office hours. Uh, we will run the standard agenda. So we will start from a short q &A. So if anyone has questions, just ask. Then we will have uh, project sync up and updates. And then we will have more time for q &A if you have longer questions or if you have technical questions. Um, uh, this is uh, the best uh, slot uh, to discuss that. Okay, uh, we have a number of new people on the call. Um, and if you have any questions, just ask now before we proceed. Okay. Are you on? So there was a there is a question about project proposal. Uh, yeah, but uh, regarding specific project proposal. <laughs> So, there is another ask about this automatic specification of the project proposal. When we are supposed to submit the proposal? Sorry, I don't understand. No, can you go ahead? Yeah, there you go. He's muted. Can we are supposed to submit the proposal? Okay, so uh, how to submit proposals? Yes, yes. Uh, how to submit the proposal? Okay, uh, so let's take a look uh, at the JSOC timeline. Um, so this timeline uh, uh, points uh, the main phases, and you can see that uh, student official student application begins in one month, so on March 16th, and on uh, March 31st, uh, is, uh, the application deadline. So this is uh, the time when you will be able to submit your proposals on the JSOC website. And this okay. is uh, what is the application needs. Before that, you can uh, send uh, your proposal drafts uh, to the mailing list or to the Gitter channels in the respective uh, projects, and uh, then uh, they can be reviewed. For example, um, let's take, uh, uh, yeah. I will just open project ideas to show you an example how it could be done. Uh, here we have one project with external uh, fingerprint storage. And here we already had one proposal submitted. Uh, so you can just uh, go to the website, find the channel, mailing list or GitHub chat. And here you can find out that uh, there is a student asking about the project, uh, Sumi. And um, if you go to the mailing list, you can also find a thread uh, where Sumit uh, proposed uh, the first project idea draft. Um, yeah, it's here. So you, it's uh, quite earlier, but submitting uh, project ideas earlier gives you more time to accumulate feedback from potential stakeholders. And yeah, here you can see the proposal. Uh, to be honest, I'm still yet to review it because I am quite behind uh, after two weeks of being off. But yeah, the proposal is here and you can do the same. Once you have the first draft, just uh, submit it and start the discussion using any channel you can find. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. And uh, one more thing I want to ask about the automatic specification generator. Uh, it's better to postpone it uh, to the late uh, session so we can uh, discuss it here. Uh, shall I ask now or will, shall we continue that later? Uh, let's do it later. Because yeah, it's project specific, so it's better to discuss it uh, when we have more time to deep dive. And you can also ask questions on the channel too. That way we can, on the Gitter channel too. That way we can answer them too, as well. Yeah. That's right. Yes. Thanks, Christy. Okay, any other quick questions before we press it? I joined a little later. I saw my proposal. Did something happen? <laughs> uh, I just uh, was using it as an example of uh, how to submit project drafts before the application to get reviews. And yeah, I promise uh, to provide some uh, feedback uh, this week. That, that, no problem at all. Okay. I thought I made a mistake or something. <laughs> no, uh, you did everything right. Thank uh, you. Uh, thank you. Okay. So, any other questions? Okay, uh, then uh, let's just uh, take, take a look at updates. 
Um, so the main update for today that uh, we are waiting for the announcements. You can see that uh, the list of mentoring organizations will be published tomorrow at uh, 9 p.m. UTC. Well, at 6 p.m. UTC. So right now we don't know whether Jenkins project is accepted or not. Uh, we will uh, know soon. Uh, so let's keep our fingers crossed. Uh, but uh, yeah, we did all the preparation work. So right now we can just wait. Uh, in addition to just waiting, uh, what we discussed at the previous uh, meetings, we still uh, can work on project ideas. So you can uh, keep refining this list. Um, and you can see that the many project ideas have been moved to the accepted state. So now we have a bunch of ideas here, but we still have some uh, ideas in the draft state. So my ask uh, for everyone would be to consider finishing them. Uh, usually they are stuck in this state because they need uh, quick start guidelines on uber friendly issues. For example, I started writing it for automatic specification generator, I just didn't finish it. Uh, but for other projects, uh, it needs the same. After that, we can formally move them uh, to the accepted status and hopefully they will get uh, more uh, interest from students because um, even with documentation explaining what uh, the statuses mean, uh, uh, sometimes draft project IDs are considered uh, as ones which are not ready to be iterated. Uh, we could consider changing uh, naming, but yeah, that's what we have right now. And we have six IDs on this list. So it's specification generator, Bitbucket REST API, but um, my understanding that we should move it to, to the ongoing discussion section as well. Uh, because Martin has stepped down and I was unable to get a response from Shen Yu. Uh, well, uh, he's based in Beijing, so I'm not sure what is his current connectivity. Um, but yeah, right now I have no confidence that we will be able to run this project idea. So we, we can move it to the discussion state. And code coverage, API, uh, custom Jenkins distribution service, pipeline documentation, Jenkins remoting monitoring, all these uh, ideas can happen, but we need uh, to finalize uh, the descriptions uh, to move them. And I'll get a PR in today to get the Bitbucket moved back to draft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah, it would be also great to start a link list discussion. Because yeah, what we need uh, is not just um, a status update, but we really need a thread because uh, that's how ongoing discussion is implemented right now. So for example, here, if I click, instead of going to the plugin, uh, to the JSOC site and just getting to the mailing list. So we will need a thread like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks, uh, Marky, for handling it. Okay, so regarding other statuses, yeah, we reached um, the number of 20 potential mentors. And again, if we uh, get accepted uh, tomorrow, we will be doing some uh, promotion uh, to get more potential mentors. Here you can see that uh, many project ideas have just one mentors. Uh, right now, it's uh, fine. Uh, and we will be doing more outreach uh, if we know for sure that we are accepted. But uh, if you see some project ideas where, which you want to mentor, you can just add yourself to this list so that uh, we expand uh, the number of contacts here. Mm -hmm. So last year we had 35 potential mentors uh, by uh, the beginning of the student application phase. Let's see how many mentors we will have this year. Okay, so I, there is no other updates from me. Um, maybe somebody else has any updates to it. I can give an update in regards to the machine learning uh, project. Okay. We have started to uh, schedule student uh, interviews and uh, we have a document that myself and the other mentors are going over and we're going to be reaching out to students to set up those interviews. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so student interviews is not something we generally require for project ideas, uh, but if uh, mentor teams want to, to invest additional time, um, it's uh, a good thing to do. 
usually we just uh, do some discussions at the office hours, etc. Yeah, setting up additional requirements is totally uh, in powers of uh, mentor teams. Yeah, the reason we decided to do it for the machine learning project because there's some specialization that's required in the area of machine learning. We wanted to make sure that we weren't setting any potential students up for failure or over committing to something that they may not have at least a basic understanding before embarking on it. Yeah, that's a great thing to do. So why uh, we don't do it um, for all students just because of the bandwidth? We discussed it a few times as at retrospectives, but uh, yeah, our agreement was that it's just difficult to have enough time for that. If uh, people are ready to invest their time, it's much appreciated. Any other updates? Assume that the answer is no. So application mm -hmm. status check, please. Uh, yeah, Oleg, I just uh, mm -hmm. wanted to say I've updated the guidelines for um, oh, right. uh, creating templates, uh, 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 creating project, project ideas. Project idea templates or project proposal templates. Uh, project idea template. Okay. The PR is pending though. All right. So we need uh, to have some reviews. Yeah, I did one review cycle, but at that point it was failing. So I guess that the ball is actually on my side. Mm -hmm. okay. So I provided an update for that. Thank you. So it just uh, clarifies uh, how we make proposals. And again, if we get accepted tomorrow, we will have additional call for project ideas. Maybe we will be able to, uh, to get more and it's really important. So thanks for doing that. Okay, do we have any other GSOC related pull requests? Oh, yeah, that's on me. Um, I still haven't uh, published uh, the Paris Chase uh, blog post for Lisbon. I'll do it after the meeting. Mm. Okay. So, regarding the application status check, uh, basically we discussed it in the beginning. Uh, we just wait till tomorrow. And then we either celebrate or plan a retrospective, but fingers crossed that everything uh, goes well. Okay, <coughs> open action items. Yep, so um, these are uh, two pull requests which are pending. And what else we had? Um, we needed to update uh, uh, channels for Jenkins X because Jenkins X uh, doesn't use Gitter. And apparently we had uh, support of non gitter channels already in the framework. So now if you go to the Jenkins X project ideas, they just redirect uh, you to the community pages of Jenkins X with links. So this is just addressed. And if anyone is interested in uh, Jenkins X project ideas, uh, please use uh, these channels. Yes, the Slack mm -hmm. channels for Jenkins X are part of the Kubernetes Slack. So you have to join the Kubernetes Slack and then you can choose the channels to join. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you, Cara. And yeah, uh, Jenkins X project ideas are now in the published state. So we addressed uh, all the criteria there, so yeah, the official ones. Okay, what else uh, uh, did we have? Uh, so we had an open uh, question about test client project ideas. Uh, thanks, Martin, for addressing that. Um, yeah, I guess uh, that's it. So we still uh, need to um, uh, travel uh, post by, from Long. Um, I will ping him today. Um, and 
while we are talking about travel. Uh, did everyone get the reimbursements for mentor summits and uh, other events? Yes, I did. I think you still have one outstanding, right, Oleg? Uh, yes, uh, for me it's still pending, but yeah, it will eventually land to my account. So there was some process issue, or maybe just to bit PDF, I'm not sure. So any other action items uh, which we are missing? I guess not. So yeah, basically the list is almost empty, which is uh, great because if we get accepted tomorrow, we will get a huge search in, in traffic from uh, potentially interested students. So if you have any time reserved, uh, uh, better to dedicate it to the discussions uh, with students, to reviewing uh, project proposals, etc. And yeah, uh, next week's will be fun. Kara, I'm going to add, uh, if you're in agreement, I'm going to add my name as a potential mentor to the uh, Jenkins X add-ons. Right now, I think it's just James and uh, Neha. Mm -hmm. Sounds great, Marky. You're you're very welcome to do so. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Yeah. Okay. So, any other topics to discuss before we start coding? So my question uh, to new people on the call: um, If you need any clarification, if you want to understand. Uh, uh, something or know more about how we operate in JSOC, please uh, just ask. Okay, I guess everyone is I, fine. I, I would like to. Um... So I, I see someone on the call that uh, who contacted uh, me recently, and I. Just wanted to uh, know if you wanted to do um, uh, if you wanted to do some if there's potential mentors on the call or mm -hmm. uh, students. I think uh, Michael contacted me recently to um, mm -hmm. inquire about mentoring. So, do you have specific questions, Michael, regarding that? <laughs> um, I don't have any specific questions right now. Um, I've been working through the the proposed project ideas. Yeah, I'd, I'd be open to mentoring almost any of them. Um, if there's someone who needs a co-mentor. <clears throat> yeah, so you can just uh, put your name uh, on several ideas uh, you would be the most interested in. Um, again, uh, this uh, is about potential mentors. Uh, so it's not uh, uh, that you commit uh, to this particular project idea or well, you don't commit at all at the moment. So it's just an um, uh, indication that you might be interested and it uh, will help uh, our colleagues uh, to steer the discussions in the ne uh, next phases if we get accepted so that uh, we can uh, build mentor teams. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, if you have any specific interest, just uh, put uh, your name here. And again, uh, we still can um, onboard for more project ideas. So if you have anything specific in mind, yeah, you can just make a proposal in mailing list um, and we can fine tune it to make it an official project idea. And Michael, if you have any questions or you, you want more information, don't hesitate to reach out in the in the Gitter channel and, and or if you want to reach out to one of the org admins, please feel free by all means. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, sure. Yeah, this chat never sleeps, so you can ask uh, the question almost uh, mm -hmm. all the time. Well, probably because uh, Marky almost never sleeps, but <laughs> yeah, other people also contribute a lot. Okay. So let's continue. Mm -hmm. So we have a question about the uh, REST API specification generator, so we can just proceed with that. And if anyone else has questions, yeah, we have 20 minutes left. Uh, so 
yeah, put your items uh, to the list so we can uh, deep dive. Uh, hello. Yes. Huh. So I want to ask about uh, only uh, like last time you have specified about this exported annotation, right? Yes. Uh, so uh, means how can I identify whether it is normal? Means whether it is a REST API request? Means particular request like uh, this is going to delete, this is going to update, this is going to insert into like buildings. I have to make according to building stat build status or according to the type of request. Mm -hmm. Yep, uh, so in Jenkins, we basically have two parts of REST API. One is a get REST API, and uh, another part is the REST. Uh, so, for example, here you can go to almost any page of Jenkins, and you can see, I need to move the zoom from you. Okay. Here you can see a REST API um, link, which points you to the um, API provided by this page. And this is a getter API. So basically, you can just um, get a JSON API with some additional parameters if you need. And uh, this is how we use the, yeah, probably not the best example. Uh, so this is a way you can get uh, some initial API uh, and the information uh, for get methods. Uh, if you want uh, to have delete APIs, etc., they implement it quite uh, differently. If uh, you want, we can take a look. But the getter APIs is uh, the most simple, simple thing. Okay, means like for each plugin, or mainly it is focused on plugin, right? Uh, uh, this API is focused rather on uh, Jenkins model objects. So, for example, jobs. Okay, the build status of jobs and uh, the status, total status, right? Yeah, right. I suspect that API is just suppressed on CI Jenkins IO, so that's why we get empty JSONs. Uh, but yeah, I can show you another instance. Uh, but uh, yeah, the idea that uh, uh, yeah, this API for any page, like a job page or build page, you can access REST API and get some aggregated information. So how it happens, uh, for example, we can take, uh, let's uh, go to the Jenkins code base. And here we have uh, a job Java, for example. So job uh, is just an entity which represents uh, all kinds of jobs and surprisingly folders in Jenkins. Um, and here you can uh, see that um, it has some implementations, uh, but um, it's actually accessible uh, from REST API because it's model object. So all model objects are accessible through REST APIs. And here you can uh, just scroll down to the code and see that uh, there are some uh, exported fields, like for example, your item using Q and whatever. So these are fields which are returned by REST API. And uh, Jenkins uses frame, its framework, Stepler, to aggregate these annotations and to build this REST API response. So in uh, automatic specification generator, we basically expect that somebody uh, does similar processing and uses it to generate specifications of APIs um, instead of uh, regular responses. Okay, that means uh, the main focus is on getting the exported annotated, annotated functions and uh, automating the process to in open API or, or yeah. Swagger generate this uh, API documentation automatically, right? Yeah, it would be the first step, uh, but it's just for get APIs. We also have uh, other kinds of uh, REST APIs. So you can uh, just Google for REST API uh, Jenkins, uh, which is probably not the best documentation page. So it's still on Wiki, we need to move it, uh, but it includes some data. Mm. It's also a good opportunity as part of this to make sure that we move this over <laughs> to the main site and also update it. Yeah. yeah, this page is definitely outdated. There are other links in project ID which might be more relevant. But mm -hmm. yeah, let's take a, a look at this job page. So there are, for example, methods which start from do. Uh, for example, do RSS change log. So this method, for example, returns your RSS change log. And okay. formally, it's also part of REST API as far as Jink is concerned. Uh, because basically it uh, doesn't make any differentiation for that. Or we can take something uh, more specific. 
for example, there is a method which returns uh, details for the context menu. It's also REST API, so that's how Jenkins frontend uh, talks to Jenkins server in order to retrieve this data. Or do config submit, it's a REST API method for submitting the documentation, uh, okay. submitting configuration. And here you can see that it's annotated by post, so it's not a get method, it's post method in REST API, uh, which does configuration submission. So if you talk about this story in general, uh, it would uh, imply studying uh, how Jenkins REST API uh, work. And we have mentors who are experienced with that and who provide, can provide pointers. But still, uh, there will be a lot of traversing uh, code, uh, processing these annotations, and uh, generating the best effort uh, REST API specification. OK, that means I can uh, ask you or Christine about the, uh, these REST API questions, right? Yes, you uh, can just uh, go to the respective channel. So here, uh, let's take a look. Uh, on this project ID, we have uh, a link to the chat. And in this case, it uh, points to the documentation special interest group. So you can just uh, go here and ask any questions you have about the REST API, and we will try to help. OK, fine. Uh, and one more thing you have added is like uh, the post and the get annotations, like not exactly get. The post annotations or do the function starting with do and we have to mainly scrap according to situation, right? Uh, yes. So still it's a very simplified uh, view of how Jenkins REST API works because there is a lot of other things. For example, these methods can be parameterized. Um, uh, these methods can be restricted. Uh, these methods can uh, have some additional security checks. So there is a lot more, but uh, we, yeah, we will need to start from something. Hi, yes, I, I will start from exported and the post things. Later I will try to develop them. Yeah, something like that. Because uh, after, if I start with, uh, so it will give slowly idea about how the functions are really working. That's why I started with plugin development also. Uh, so you shouldn't uh, start uh, this plugin development now unless it helps you to prepare your project uh, application. So oh, yes, we yes. do not expect the students to complete uh, their projects or to create uh, their prototypes uh, as a part of the application process. We know that you have studied, you have a lot of other assignments. So your main goal now is to create, uh, prepare a good project proposal. But if uh, some prototyping helps, uh, feel free to just do it. Oh, yes. Uh, so that's why I started with the plugin development and I will go through the links which you have mentioned today about REST API and I'll work on them. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Fine. So I will uh, meet in next meeting then, fine. Okay. Any other questions? Chris, Nothing maybe, for me. Yeah. Chris, maybe you would like to add something about the uh, REST API generator? Um, no, the big thing for me is like, what's we can also, you know, like don't have to wait till next time to ask questions like a whole week. Um, feel free to jump in a channel and ask and there'll be other people that can maybe help give ideas too about like things that are working on um, to help automatically do documentation as well. So yeah, feel free to jump in whenever. That's a good advice for any potential applicant on the, on the call. Just when you have a question, don't feel free to reach out over the soft channel, reach out over the um, channels that may have been listed in the proposal pages. And everyone in the community is incredibly helpful. And we want you to succeed. So, <laughs> plus one. Yeah. Okay. Any other topics? So. Yeah, one thing which uh, we usually discuss is that uh, these are our office hours. So we do set uh, an objective to stay online for 45 minutes and uh, to fill the topics. So we will meet uh, now and specifically during um, uh, the coding phases and application phases, we will be closing down uh, the meeting uh, basically once we discussed everything. Uh, so, so yeah, if you have any questions, it's better to join earlier. Uh, because yeah, if you're late, maybe you, you might be all to the offline. Uh, we do not stay for 45 minutes, but yeah.
Ok. Ça va. Mm. Yeah, so what I was trying to say is that we actually do not stay for 45 minutes. <laughs> okay, so if there is no other topics uh, to discuss today, thanks everyone. And again, uh, let's keep our fingers crossed. Uh, so we should have uh, the results soon. And then we will make sure to finally uh, post videos because I realized that I forgot to post a video from the previous JSOC office hours. So, thanks all. Yep, thanks everyone. Yeah. Thank you everybody. Have a good yeah. day, evening. Thank you. Thank, and thanks to everyone for your interest in Google Summer of Code. Bye now. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Goodbye.